guys, so today we're going to be doing something pretty fun and honestly something that I guess I've been asked to do for a long time, so I should have done it a long time ago, but this is a pretty fitting time of year for doing survival kits because it's Christmas or it's getting close to Christmas, it's the holiday season, and what better time to get your loved ones some fun kind of gear that they can use that may be practical or if they just throw in a backpack or a car or forget about it, still serving a great purpose. So today we're going to be looking over my cold proof survival kit and I'm going to be showing you guys what I've included in here to just have a very basic, very small survival kit that functions and provides a lot of needs for the cold weather that we are currently in. So starting off with this kit, of course it is a Pelican 1010 and love these cases. They're very waterproof, they're very shock resistant, very damage resistant and Pelican just does a great job on their micro case series. But to start off with the survival stuff, even though this sticker kind of gets in the way a little bit, uh, I have a wind chill chart right here. I like having something that's really easy to glance at, and you guys may have a hard time seeing it exactly. I'll see if I can get this a little bit closer for you guys. But this essentially just breaks down, you know, uh, mile or wind speed in knots and miles per hour, and then it has a list of temperatures that go all the way to negative 50, I believe. Yeah, just 50, and it essentially shows you in a kind of, you know, breakdown chart that if your wind speeds are, you know, like let's just say five to nine miles an hour, that brings a, you know, 35 temperature down to 20. So your felt temperature becomes 20 if you have a five to nine mile an hour gust and the temperature is 35. So it's a really nice handy chart to have just for something that's quick to glance. And I like taking advantage of the fact that these are clear cases. So I think it's kind of a waste, you know, to have a clear case if you can't kind of at least put some basic survival stuff on the outside, or at least viewable from the outside, I should say. In addition, we also have the stock little Pelican carabiner. I left this thing on. I'm not a huge fan of these. I would probably remove it if this was my, like if I was using this case myself, but these are pretty nifty if you just want to clip it onto a backpack or clip it onto some kind of thing, just to have your kit in an accessible area. Okay, so let's actually break into this thing. So wind speed chart is like I said up here it also has some survival instructions in how to calculate wind speed that's not on the chart so that's handy but of course we have hand warmers and you know this isn't necessarily a survival thing but I like my survival kits to have not just useful survival goods but some practical stuff that you might actually need you know just throw these in case you forget your normal hand warmers you know just have a backup pair right there Okay, so there's nothing too complicated in here. We have a nice, very small Mylar blanket right here. And this thing isn't huge, it's not gonna cover you very well, but it's gonna keep your core warm. And once again, you know, if you're trying to just survive a night or if you're trying to just kind of heat yourself back up for whatever reason, if you don't have a coat, if your coat is damaged, whatever, you know, it's nice to have just a really simple Mylar blanket. Of course, we have a little zip tie nestled in there because you can't go wrong with those. We also have about 10 feet of bank line. This is about, I believe, 325 pound test bank line here. Then breaking into our Ferro rod, I have an Exotac Nano Striker XL, love that thing. And then lastly, or not lastly I should say, but second to last is a good old Benchmade Griptilian. Of course this one has its pocket clip removed so that it's more packable, but this is a Benchmade Griptilian. And then lastly, officially lastly, is I have a couple of these little Tinder Quick tabs just to help the fire process because of course the last thing you want to do is get stuck in the cold and just with a ferro rod and nothing to strike for flames. So I like to have a couple little fire tabs just to uh, help aid the fire process. So that's the kit. There's nothing too special, but it does cover the good old five C's of survivability by Dave Canterbury. Having your container, your shelter, or your cover, your cutlery, your combustion, and your cordage. So I'm sure you could add a little bit more to this, but I wanted to keep it basic and just really simple for you guys in case you want to build something similar to it. And that was what I would do for the most part, that's at least the core uh, skeleton of what I would do with a Pelican 1010 
in the micro series. Hopefully this guy this gives you guys an idea and once again if you're one of those people looking to buy a survivalist a Christmas gift this year, you may not have to you won't, you might not buy them all of this, but start them off with something like a 1010, just a case and you know let them throw, let them build together, you know, a fun little survival kit. Maybe even share them this video so that they can get some ideas, some thoughts, you know, kind of get the process flowing when it comes to building a nice little survival kit that will fit in a backpack, in a pocket, in a car, in a glove box, you know, just tons of places this little 1010 will fit. Anyways guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.